Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your gang. And today is Saturday, guys, here. I'm currently here in the province, so, you know, so I just got back home from Dumaguete. So, um, in the morning, I went to Dumaguete for the assessment, which is uh, getting national certificate um, and sit the holder pastor in cookery. And yeah, guess what? I was... Uh, it was successful assessment from TESDA. So, um, so it's a great opportunity, guys, to get that um, career. Like, you'll just have to train for a few months and then you'll having a national certificate because uh, as, of the as of the moment, a lot of people or teenagers getting this um, national certificate and actually guys cookery is part of our schooling in hospitality or in hotel restaurant services it is related to my studies so yes guys i'm so excited and i can't wait um so our catering event was successful also getting national certificate from cookery was successful and it was blessing guys and more more to come is the ogt training before we graduated so this is our last month and next month is our culmination or maybe pictorial or something hopefully we will graduate we get there i'm so excited and i can't wait i think i, I talk so much guys yes and the same situation as usual guys and it's just very stress for me and you know i don't feel like making videos for the past few days due to you know i'm like uh i was always thinking what content to do um what makes you but what makes a video to do so yes and it's hard to make content and you know that but um so today is saturday and it's been raining last night and yeah, we got some troubles last night. It's not really a bad day. Uh, it was a bad day, but everything's gonna be, um, you know, it's everything's gonna be okay. And right now, I am actually washing my clothes, guys. So, I'm not, I'm not uh, making videos. So, my grandpa is here. Say hi, hello. My grandpa is here. He bring the carabao. He bring the car the two carabao because um today we were be heading to uh our farm or my farm because I have own sugar cane farm here in the province aside from my papa's sugar cane. I bought a or I rented a I don't know how you call this, it's a rendo here in the province or here in the Philippines. I don't know how you call it. It's like you rent for ten years and I'm the one who worked this uh contract uh for ten years, yes. So, Lolo bring the two carabao here because I don't have own carabao. So, Lolo or Grandpa bring the two carabao here. He's just walking like 20 minutes, lo? 20 minutes, kagalakaw? Like a 30 or a, a half hour. Can you imagine that, guys? Actually, we went to the house of my grandpa yesterday because it was the birthday of my Lola. And we went there, but they, have, they, ha they don't have any idea. But we bought some food. Not so much, guys. You know, kind of budget but uh lola is very happy or when is very happy so yeah she's having or he's having a um breakfast now it's late for him because he bring the carabao so thank you lo lolo is a uh, no he he can the other eyes can uh can see he he's totally blind uh from the other side from the right eye what what uh what is the reason Ah, he's um doing acts or he is doing like he's gathering a wood and then what happened is the the wood goes to when he's going to chop the wood, um the wood goes to his eyes, so that's what happened. It started his eyes he couldn't see from the, the right side, yes. So yes guys. So, yes, guys, I'm so proud of him. And he's still gardening, even his... Uh, 70. 
Lolo is 78 now and he's still doing gardening in his small farmland. Yeah, actually, he has very, very small land because he sold me the half hectare of um, land from him. And I um, am currently taking care of his land. So, and because he couldn't, uh, he couldn't have energy to, to, um, to work his own land so he sold it to me so that's why i have the own sugar cane right now so anyway guys i'm um, washing clothes here so my sister is helping me so i'm so happy that someone can help me here so this is our laundry guys and yeah some detergent and i have own washing machine guys and I will just sit here because since I'm here for months and um we have so much water and then after for how many months after the typhoon hits here the water is uh, gone I don't know what's happening guys it's lack of supply so we decided to cut off the water from Bawad office so what we do is we pitch the water in the cave so what uh that's what our doing so um so. Yeah, many things happened, guys, lately. It was really sad. My cousin, uh, my other cousin has a paper. Then my other uh, nephew, because they visited me here the last what, past week, right? So, my nephew got a dengue paper. So, he was admitted in Holy Child. is It is private hospital in Dumaguete. So, happily, guys, um, luckily and blessed that he was discharged yesterday. So, I'm so happy about it is really good kid and he visited us here um the last past week so currently God, the weather is not good yes if you can see that a lot of chili red chili outside and it's so spicy if you can see that guys my house need cleaning and um yes the purpose of this video guys is to film the 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 farm um, and I'd love also to share what is the life of farming here in the province because uh, I am the example of farmers here in the province I, that my father does did for a long time ever since I was born. My papa is a great farming, a farmer. And so I decided myself to try it on to, um, to work it on by myself like getting a, a farm. I rented a farm and I'll be working it. But I am gonna share also, guys, what's life of um, farming. You know, sharing ideas, what are the needed, uh, what things to do, what are the process of farming and sugarcane here in the province. So we're gonna discuss that one based on my experience. So lately, I was really busy on farming, guys, and I tried to assess my papa and financially and emotionally and physically here. So I was really enjoying about it. I was really enjoying doing about it. And I have also stores, so it helps a lot. So anyway, guys, um, right now, I think I'm going to prepare by myself. I'm going to wear um, pajamas and then the boots because um, I will be heading to the farm. It's like five minutes away to my place. So we going to film... I have my all my family is trying to help me out to apply fertilizers today. So, um, I haven't filmed the last week since we do restart to plant sugar cane. So today we will be filming my families while applying a fertilizer. So I'll see you there, guys, and I'm gonna share you the ideas about farming in sugar cane here in the province. See ya. So this is how it looks outside the house, guys, currently. So this is uh, currently the view here in the province or outside the house. My garden is getting dry because, like what I mentioned earlier, we don't have so much water here. We don't have water, guys, if we didn't pitch. Oh my god, it's so hard getting water here. Oh, oh my god, yeah, that is the reason why. So, I'm still gonna take care of my flowers or my plants. And this is how it looks here. It is so messy. So, the owner before here, they put some garbage just here. But the, the fence is not anymore good. So, I have to 
set aside a budget for that in the future and i'm just waiting the the road when they gonna do widening the road because you know possible my ground will be um will be affected in the future so i'll see what i can do so i have a lot of plants here outside guys my plans is my plan is to um clean here all the general cleaning so my families will help me out here they're just very busy guys because they have farm to take care if you can see that that's my mess there we're gonna take it take good care of here we started cleaning here since my cousin or my nephew was uh ha was admitted in the hospital and he was uh find out or the findings of the doctor is the dengue paper so we have to be very careful and it should be fixed soon here i'm just waiting my budget but i'm very tight right now guys because of the fertilizer of my farm so i did planted also here some plants yes this is called i don't know the name of it i forgot the name i just planted it since i'm here so um yes this is the side it needs to um clean here so i'm gonna hire some people to fix here is the stock of my beer there are a lot of stocks and it's so messy here guys and i have two tub here if it's raining then i can save water very practical for me to save water especially if uh, lack of supply always lack of supply here so i'm trying my best guys to provide what is best in some plants here still stocking the water and yeah and update on here i did get some stocks for my store see you later ready na sila mamunlay puta tayo sa exciting na part Kung saan tayo ay Tanlog Rain or shine This is the road here Ooh. Larga bula so this is the road on the way to the farm guys it's raining lately so that's why the road is like a muddy one it's very normal here in the province oh my god oh kai highway kai ambina yung kwan kai be kalo julie hello so guys, papunta tayo sa exciting na going tayo sa farm. <laughs> Alakan si Jawai Butas. So I wear my boots. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so lalom. It's like pag upa biya kay gaulan. This is the problem. The province. Rain, rain, go away. So, rain na lang mo. Sorry na lang ako gabutas. <laughs> so here guys, we go apply the fertilizers uh, in the farm, in my farm. Oh my god, that dog is so so angry oh, so farming is so hard to do guys 
and I realized how hard to be a farm girl. So this is my life here in the province. So, oh. <laughs> this is the weather now. Alright guys, so we're here at the farm together with the family. So my family is working. But they offered to help my farm. So anyway, I just wanted to share to you guys that farming life here in the province is isn't easy um um financially you have to invest we are the middle of mountains of nowhere it's 10 minutes away from my house guys so my family is starting to apply fertilizers now so we just um apply fertilizers slowly because we're gonna buy in one time of fertilizer it's it's very expensive guys and today I'm gonna share how is life of farming farming here in the province it's very common guys that most of farmers they do plant sugarcane some they do plant um, um, corn you know so um, the good thing in corn is you can harvest it for after four months three to four months then you can have corn and there are a lot of or varieties of corn yellow corn and a lot more then yes guys since I was a kid I used to I used to do this and right now I couldn't do it like on my own yeah, I'll just help a little because I have store, so I have to take. I have store to take care. Let's go over here to share to you guys what's going on here in the province, here in the province with me. And yes, guys, guys, I'm so sweaty. So we're gonna follow the workers or the family. Okay, so it's perfect timing earlier or lately. Um, it's raining, so. It just do like this, direct applying fertilizer. So. so after this, they are going to blow. They're going to blow with a carabao. Oh, it's very hot. I can take it. Okay. I can take it. Oh. I am wearing my favorite boots, guys. Oh. So we're gonna find shadow or a shade here because I can take uh, in the middle of the hut and I don't Alright guys, so I'm gonna share you a little things about farming and so that you will know I know you you know already some of um some of you are doing farming also in the US or somewhere and it's the life of my family or it's my, it's the life of my parents this is actually my papa papa's job here in the in the province so i'm going to share you a little guys about this farming is costly aside from costly you know you will invest why it's costly because you have to invest couple thousands just to uh plant or raise sugar cane because you're not just gonna plant a sugar cane and you're not gonna falling weeds just you're not gonna apply fertilizer then you have to take care of take care of it like a flowers or it's like like you're taking care of a children you have to take good care of them by process or step by step so this is my first time guys um this is my first time um rented or getting own farm you know for myself uh, so i invested this for myself in the future who knows you know if i get married or something for my family's emergency cases so i will have something that i invested so something that i invested this one because i observe a lot of people or farmers here in the province they do farming in sugarcane and their life is it's not that really better you know but they're getting better like they can provide their own selves 
you know, so they can get truck or something. One of my dream to get own truck, guys, in the future because this is really what I want also for my family, for my papa. He can have own truck. Um, he can have own farmland, you know. So I was sharing this few years. Um, I think last year ago, many things happened and it was costly and the income also guys is yearly yes yearly yearly it's like you're gonna invest a couple of thousand and you can have it back and after a year so it depends also guys if the lkg that's the time the grilling of the sugar cane in the central you know if how much per kilo for the sugar so that is the way of process so why it is expensive guys it's because you have to um pay for labor laborers and you have to buy fertilizers and you have to um pay for a labor to blow your your farm because here it's manual guys it's we don't have machine here like in the in your place here we use carabao and blow machine uh blow manual you know, so we're gonna pay the laborer per day. And then if we don't have own carabao, then you have to rent also. So I don't have own carabao. My papa does one. And I'd love to get one for him also and for myself. So uh, so if ever, you know, I'm raising also cow and pigs. Yes, and it was nice because i love living here in the province guys i love peaceful and i want i like quiet and peaceful place to stay in the future so yes it's yearly it's costly because you're gonna hire labor to pull weeds to plow your farm then to apply fertilizers per day as well and then to harvest the to harvest the ano to harvest the sugar cane it will also takes um time and money because if you don't have own truck you're gonna pay truck you're gonna pay driver so you know that's the time of the time of the year you'll have to you have to know if your if your money that you invested in the farm you'll find out if you're gonna gain profit if you're gonna gain a profit or not so that is the life of doing of farming it's like it's every time we take a decision it's risky guys and i do believe that one because i am a risk taker person and this is why i invested this one because my papa is very good at that in farming so i wish that guys here um we have machine um automatic automatic auto machine automatically not like manual because it takes a lot of time and like for example it's cost me um 50,000 pesos for only a a fertilizers plus some labors of some labors labor workers you know and uh yeah that's what i said you have to invest a couple thousands to to plant a sugar cane because it's not easy and uh, this is my first time investing a sugar cane on my own self with my papa and he has also owned farm guys and last year he got he gained profit and i was amazed from that and i said okay i'm gonna try i'm gonna give a shot you know so i'll see at the end of the year i'll see but this is the bad timing actually because the fertilizer is very expensive so i'll see at the end of the year guys i don't know this is my first shot of the wing per um raising a sugar cane on my own so i'll see guys at the same time i'm also doing raising uh, cows and pigs piglets yes so um piglets i'm um, raising up piglets it's because you know if i'm gonna dress meat in my store so i am going to sell fresh meat or fresh pork in the store so i don't have freezer yet that is my next upcoming plans to get freezer maybe an installment because i couldn't afford for a cash or something so i'll see what i can do and i realize how hard to to start farming guys like my papa did you know it is very hard hard i realized how hard it is because since i was a kid guys i was doing this one like you know someone is raising a sugar cane and you'll pay you i think at that time on my day it's 70 pesos per day and now it's 200 pesos already and time change a lot guys it's constantly constantly changes a lot of prices things might high 
the high prices right now so it's totally different guys so i will see guys what i can do and i'll just want to share to you it's you know the life of farming it's not easy so so we will wait them guys so i think it's just um you know it's just a little of time you will get finished there because there are six of them yes i pay for and you know so i was enjoying this one guys and this is the view here currently view here and some of my the people here in the province they're planting corn um um buko or coconut tree fresh coconut tree here this is a good thing here and some mango some fresh fruits you know so uh, if you can see my hands is very dirty because i try to remove the widgets in the corner side so um well i'm waiting with them i am a watchman or a watch woman today so um they are working very fast guys and i'm so lucky because they helped me um going through with this even though it is costly for me to take it's funny guys because i try to invest in my thing even though i'm a student at the same time a student uh, businesswoman even I, it's only a small business but it take care of me a lot guys for my needs in school and for my family so anyway guys i'm gonna show you a bit here so that is um the coconut tree and i just purchased 10 no eight socks for myself and then 15 socks for my papa it's almost one thousand dollar then okay oh they're almost finished it's good that i wear these boots it's helped a lot Okay. Okay. It's a hot. I'm gonna short a break to you later. So after after the exciting part of applying fertilizer, someone there's a monkey climbing in the coconut tree. Hi monkey. Ooh. That is fresh coconut guys. It's very hot guys and sweaty. Hi. Hi, welcome back to my vlog. Hello, What's your name? Kring Kring. My name is Crystal. Chris Kring Kring Kring. In short. Wow. Sige, inom mo dua. Ibigyan. Hala. Sige, go. Julie. Oh. Botong. Botong daw de. They are very thirsty, guys. Yummy. Usually, guys, we are using this as tablespoon. Oh, yum. Very expensive. It's 50 pesos around. In the restaurant or in the resort, it's 100 pesos or 140. Mm. Monkey. Monkey. Monkey.